I'm very excited to be joined by Alan Ruvuga, a consultant at NAB Asset Management. Alan just uh, finished his uh, level one uh, CFA exam and he's currently sitting for his level two CFA exam. So Alan, welcome. Thank you, Chris. Congratulations, Alan, on passing the CFA level one exam. Can you tell us a bit more about your background? Uh, well, currently work as a research relationships uh, consultant and what that involves is working with external research houses um, to do their reviews on our funds. Um, and as part of this, we're required to know um, with the capabilities that we have with our, our funds and also understand what the external research houses expect from us. So Alan, can you tell us a bit more as to why you decided to take on the CFA program? Uh, the reason I decided to take on the CFA program was because of my passion in asset management. Um, the CFA program stood out as having international recognition, um, being highly regarded in the, in the funds management industry, and also having that flexibility you need if you're working uh, full time. As I'm aware, you're taking the level two CFA exam. Can you tell us a bit more about how you find uh, the level two CFA exam compared to the level one CFA exam? Was it more challenging? What are the differences? Uh, level two is definitely a step up from level one. Uh, it's much more challenging and it has more depth within the topics. Um, the one thing I realized is that with level two, you really need to understand the content as compared to level one, where you could just know it and get away with it. With level two, you need to understand it to be able to use it in applications and analysis. Would you recommend the CFA course to others? And if so, why? I would certainly recommend the CFA course to anyone who's interested in uh, having a career in funds management, especially for someone who's beginning their career or don't have that much experience. I found that the CFA can be a good knowledge base to get you acquainted with the familiar terms and the jargon in the industry. Uh, for myself, I found that studying the CFA helped me with my job. I came across stuff that was in the CFA in my day-to-day -day job and it really helped me out. Uh, but one thing I would stress though is that if you're going to commit to the CFA, you really have to invest the hours because it takes a lot of your time and you have to be ready to, to do that if you're going to jump in. So Alan, how did you hear about the CFA? I heard about the CFA through uni. Um, as part of my uh, doing my uni degree, I was involved in a project known as the CFA Research Challenge. And this was one of those things where you're used to the normal unit theory material and this is an opportunity to actually put it into practice. It was more practical. We had a real life company. We had to give it an analysis and give it a recommendation to industry uh, people. So I found it quite interesting and after that I just looked more into it and ended up taking the course. Alan, it's been fantastic. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm.